What's going on guys? It's your girl E and T. You guys, we are so happy to be here and we are doing our very first movie review. So excited to be doing yes. it. <laughs> we thought, you know what? We thought it would be so cool because we literally have two different perspectives when it comes to movies. So me, I'm more of the, you know, I'm watching the actor, the actress, you know, I'm watching the, uh, what they're wearing, the props in the background, the lighting, the music, you know, and I'm a scene by scene person. Like, you know, I, I know you sit down and you watch the whole movie from top to bottom, but <laughs> I'm more of a scene by scene, you know, what, what about you? I'm more of the storyline. I like to read a description of the movie. You do. You do. I do. If it's something that's going to catch my attention, and then I definitely give it a shot and watch it because I really love it. That's really I really love the storyline. You are so right. You always look at that. I, yep. I don't. I just be like, ooh, Tay Diggs. Boop, boop, Will. Boop. You know, and I'm looking at the, I guess, the thumbnail. Right. And, uh, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. So. Yep. Um, but, uh, you know, shout out to everyone who put this movie together, you guys. Um, the director is uh, Derek Scott. Mm -hmm. And the movie we selected for this very first review is... Plug Love. Super phenomenal movie, you guys. It is currently on Tubi and uh, Amazon Prime, right? Absolutely. Yes, it's such a good movie. It was like a love story, but a, with a twist to it. You know, um, a lot of lessons learned in this movie. I think the biggest one was uh, you got to, you know, know your circle. You know, because there's always someone out there who wants what you have. So just know that you are blessed and uh, know your circle. And uh, the and tell the truth. Yeah. If you're unhappy in yeah. something and you really know that you don't want want it no more. Right. Speaking of like a relationship. Yeah. Definitely end it before you start something. Because this movie is going to definitely teach you <laughs> your <Yeah>. lesson in. <laughs> You better speak. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you and you know, say something. Another um, lesson was, you know, never judge a book by its cover, guys. I know it sounds cliche, but literally never judge a book by its cover because, you know, on the outside, it looks like this main character, Carmen, she had everything, the money, the man, the house. She was an entrepreneur. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, like her appearance, the car, but on the inside, where it all counts, hollow, man hollow and someone who was less fortunate than her in a lot of people's eyes um swept her big big handle broom swept her man you know so you know looks can be deceiving and don't judge anyone yeah you know so yep. that was the big thing that i took away from it um what was your favorite scene i have a lot i mean i just i like the storyline period so the movie kept me interested uh from the beginning to the end people like from the beginning to the end um Miss Carmen was engaged to a guy who um, was in the street. You know, he was a hustler. He um, pretty much dealt, sold drugs. Um, but he didn't have time for her. Right. So, and he uh, definitely had a lot of infidelity. A lot. Um, yeah, a lot. <laughs> a lot of infidelity. <laughs> and his main lady, which was Carmen, which is his fiance. Um, all she wanted was his time, yeah. but he didn't have time for her at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, even though he was in the streets making the money, he had more time for the other women that he was dealing with. Correct. Yeah. So he dealt with a lot of different women. Um, she didn't feel love. So it was somebody else on the streets yeah. that uh, caught her attention. Mm -hmm. And when I say caught her attention, caught it all the way. All the way. That she fell hard <laughs> for this guy. Yeah. It took some work. He put in some work because yeah. he's not your average guy. Right. But his personality, his confidence, right. his swag. Right. Yeah, all day. You know, day. Mm -hmm. that that that's what did it. Yeah. And he gave her what? Time. He gave her time. He gave her time. I mean, he gave her everything that she didn't have, you know, and she probably didn't, didn't even know she didn't have it, but... He gave her time. He gave her, you know, the voice to, to speak. She was able to express herself. You know, she laughed. I don't even think she laughed with her it, fiance. You know, I don't no, even think she did. I don't think she even laughed. She was so unhappy, guys. You know, she was so unhappy. And so I'm like, I'm big on, I mean, you know, with this movie, Plug Love, I literally caught myself rooting for the outsider and i'm big on you know relationships respect marriage you know respect your person and the whole nine but uh outside of this movie i think 
what was it? The series Power. Uh, I was rooting for the mistress also. I was rooting for Angie and Jamie, you know? Yes. And this movie made me feel like that. But I wish that she would have, you know, done it correctly. Like if she would have just told, you know, the person, hey, I'm involved with someone. Or just kind of cleaned it up, you know, closed one door before she opened another one. But I believe she tried to do that. Eventually. She tried, but yeah. I don't think that her fiancé was going to let her. Uh-uh. Because um, unfortunately... He could dish it, but he couldn't take it. Right. You know, like... There's a lot of people out there like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He he was out there, like I said, in the streets a lot. But when he found out about her, he couldn't Yo, take it. <laughs> let us know in the comments below. Have you guys seen Plug Love You Guys? It is such a phenomenal movie. Like, if DVDs were still popping, I would definitely have it in the collection. We used For to do sure. this thing like... Uh, does it make it to the collection? So we definitely would, you know, have it in the collection. Yes. Um, it was just an all-around good movie. I think my fa I had two favorite scenes. Um, the first one being in the bar. I thought it was so phenomenal. Just it was cozy. It was intimate because they were kind of there by themselves in this big space. You know, the natural light, um, the dialogue, the chemistry. It was like my favorite scene. And then I also liked when they were um, first starting off, and I think it was their first happy scene. Uh, and they were in the park and just the chemistry, the little, you know, inside jokes type thing. I thought that was phenomenal. And I think my least favorite scene was when everything, you know, everyone found out about everyone. I was just like, oh, my God, why? It was just, yeah, oh, like I felt that, you know. <laughs> so, um, yeah. You want to know one cool thing, though? What's that? So in this movie, because you like music, correct? Right. All right. Mm -hmm. So. Murder Collected, um, that was his name, guys. His name was Murder Painter. I'm not right. sure if we said it. Right. <laughs> but Murder Collected well, Records. He did. Yeah. And like old school records. Mm -hmm. And um, she did too as well, Miss Carmen. Yeah. So that was something that they had in common. And they, he played a record for her and they danced and hit it off. Yeah. And yeah. it was a real cool scene, man. Yeah. It was a real cool scene. Y'all got to watch that. It was really nice. I mean, like I said, overall, just, you know, they wasn't. They were like dancing uh, in his living room. They were dancing. playing video games and stuff, you know. And it was like, um, she was a straight up Kobe fan. Oh yeah, yeah. diehard Kobe fan. But guess what? He was a LeBron James oh, fan. Oh, that's dope. He was that's a LeBron dope. James fan. <laughs> yes, man. It was just a really good time, guys. I can literally watch that movie over and over and not get tired from it. Um, You know, and I always hear people say, you can watch a movie a million times, but each time you watch it, you always see something different. And you know what? I definitely agree with that. I, I, think, I strongly believe it has something to do with where you are in your life or what you're doing. But that's guys, facts. recently, your girl just started acting. It has been a dream ever since I was a little girl. So um, I'm yes. so excited so to, yes. um, you know, give you guys more information about the movie later on when it's released and also do a um, a review. So that's going to be super exciting. And um, yeah, my neighbor just uh, crank, crank up his vehicle. He has a muscle <laughs> car. So that's what we're doing right now. <laughs> but yeah, guys, in the comments below, let us know if you've seen Plug Love. It's a really good movie with a twist. The love story with a twist, I guess. Yes. And, um, that ending yeah. is going to be blowsome, oh guys. When I say a twist, a <laughs> twist like I never even thought. I'm talking with, about with me reading the description. <laughs> <laughs> so You read about that. Wow. So um, before we leave, guys, a fun fact about the movie is that it used to actually be a novel. Okay, so um, before it, it hit the screens, it was actually a novel. So, um, you know, I can only imagine how it feels for that author to see the movie now. You know, something she wrote down or he wrote down, I'm not sure um, who, if it's a man or a woman, I'm not sure. But <laughs> something they wrote down to, and, you know, just to be able to see it, you know, oh my God, to bring it to life like a, 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 a songwriter. And then the artist come and just, oh, it's like, oh my God. All right, so, all right, guys. Well, that's pretty much it for us. Thank you for tuning in and making our first review so special. And uh, you have anything else? Absolutely. So, you know, Carmen has a saying in a movie. Oh, yeah. You know what it is? <laughs> all right, guys. You, you have, have a better, better night. night. Peace. Peace. <laughs>